hey, let's go shopping for a home. There's so many to choose from. Uh, except I forgot to specify, we're looking in the two hundred dollars to $300,000 range. There, that thins it out nicely. You should know, though, that last year, the number of homes being built in that more affordable price range here in North Texas went up by more than 11%. And our partners at the Dallas Business Journal now have a slideshow showing you how much home that much money will get you here. Now, let's talk about another figure. That right there is how much money you'll need to retire comfortably here in Texas. A lot of people are having trouble getting there, though. USA Today found that Texas has one of the highest populations in the country of retirement age people still having to work. And they found that older Texans are much more likely than older people in much of the country to live below the poverty line. Finally, a lot of you have been sharing your money hacks with me, and we have two more good ones that deal with long-term commitments. Almeida says she's more mindful of her money now because for three years, she kept a small notebook listing every penny she would spend. And Dennis bought a home 23 years ago, and on each anniversary of moving in, he made a $1,000 additional principal payment. So now, instead of seven more years of payments to go, he says his home will be paid off in March. So early happy anniversary, Dennis. All of those hacks, by the way, and everything we've talked about here can be found at Jason Wheeler TV on Facebook and Twitter. And that's right on the money.